Hey guys, what's up? You're Shirley Danny back again doing another video on a tutorial video on how to do the... Uh... Hey guys, what's up? You're Shirley Danny back again doing another video on a tutorial video on how to do the ollie. So the ollie is one of the most basic tricks to learn um, any kind of trick in the book like kickflip or heel flips, but I'm not that consistent with them, so I'll try for you guys. So... Yeah, I'm not that consistent with them. So, there you go. Did it pretty good. But, um, yeah, I'm not that consistent with heel flips, but, yeah, it's it opens the door to learn other um, tricks. So, um, yeah, pretty simple. It's obviously a lot um, easier said than done, you know. But, um, yeah, the number one thing you really need is a, a good board, a wooden one. I highly recommend wooden boards. It helps a lot, like the wider ones or a wider tech deck. You know how they make the wider ones now with concave and stuff? So, yeah, I really recommend that. Um, again, foam or, or, or regular grip really helps. So, yeah, get don't get the, the crappy tech deck grip because it is kind of bad and it wears out pretty quickly. So, yeah, recommend foam or, or any type of good grip, you know. So, yeah, that plays a factor into, you know, learning tricks and stuff. So, um, yeah, um, the board I'm using is a four-corner fingerboard. Uh, uh, they're, they're a really good company. Um, uh, 25 bucks for a complete, can't beat it, real wooden uh, deck. I have the high kick one, the HC mold. That's just my personal preference, but obviously if you like lower kicks, that you know plays a factor in it. Yeah, so finger placement on uh, uh, for doing an ollie or ba any other basic trick is just having your middle finger just right on the tail and your index finger just right in the back of the front four bolts. That's just my way of doing it, so yeah. Pretty simple. Um, what you're gonna do pretty much is go forward. It's all in a swift motion. You kind of have to be quick with it but not too quick or too slow so um yeah just right forward pop and then um get your index finger uh slightly up more to spring it up so you can level the board out and right away um ways to learn how to do it or practice the motion because there is a motion to it just doing this on your arm helps you know i know you guys seen a lot of videos where they show you how to do this you know on your knee and stuff so yeah you can do it when you're in the school bus or on the on your way to school or whatever yeah that's pretty much how you do it i mean uh it's not rocket science it just takes a lot of practice and um it's pretty much it i mean it's just practice 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 and um yeah like i said do this or um just get used to the motion once you get used to the motion you know get something to uh to ollie over it you know to, or to ollie on something so yeah you can just like so or um you can just ollie over stuff so it can help you so yeah get like cd uh cases or something stack them up and go as high as you can you know to to do them so yeah getting an object and you know ollieing onto something really helps so yeah that that's that helps and um other ways to learn how to ollie is to do this thing called the rollback but it's kind of a bad habit so i don't really recommend doing this to do an ollie if it takes it to do an ollie just do the rollback whatever but just then learn how to not do it so much and then it goes to the point where you just don't do it anymore so this is an example on how to do a rollback so you guys kind of get the idea it's pretty self-explanatory when you go back like so um, like I said, bad habit, but if it's a must, then do it, but then learn how to not do it. Because I was ignorant um, back then too, or like a couple months ago where I used to really do the rollback a lot. My friend told me it looks ugly, and I was telling him, no, it doesn't, this and that. And then I came to the conclusion that it does look ugly, so yeah another way to do it is to kind of pop a little bit higher or bring your index or bring your uh, middle finger sorry um uh, up higher so you can pop you know i tend to do that a lot where i bring my middle finger up higher but i can still do it without going like that you know so that's another way to do it but again bad habit but um another thing to take into consideration is three fingers um this coming from a dude that's been fingerboarding for almost 10 years i'm 16 and i'm about to be 17 in july and I started fingerboarding when I was seven years old. So, yeah, I used to use three fingers when I started back in 2007 when uh, Tech Dex got really freaking crazy when it started uh, um, coming out and stuff. Or, I mean, it came out back in the, the, the late 90s, but back, like back in 2006, six seven, that's when it really got serious. So, um, yeah, I used to use three fingers. People used to always give me hard times about it, and um, I just ignored it. But um, I then later on, like in middle school, when me and my friends started getting a little bit serious with it, 
um, he started telling me like, oh, your three fingers, this and that. I mean, it looks ugly and stuff. And I kept telling him, no, it doesn't, you know, like I can, I'm used to it and I like it or whatever. And I was ignorant. I mean, I didn't want to go away from that. So, and then again, I came to the conclusion that it's a lot better using two fingers because I mean, it helps you to do kick flips, tray flips, you know, I mean, which professional fingerboarder do you see using three fingers? None, probably. So, yeah, highly recommend using two. It helps a lot. Um, it gives you more uh, flexibility, you know, to do, like, tricks and stuff. And, yeah, this is coming from a dude that used three fingers. And um, once I started using two fingers, I did have to uh, relearn my tricks and stuff. But it's all worth it. You know, really helps. And it looks a lot cleaner. You have a, It's really, you know, really a lot better to just learn how to use two fingers. So, yeah, that's pretty much how you do the ollie, guys. Um, yeah, just, again, just the number one thing is just practice 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 and you guys will get it i promise you it took me like a couple weeks or a month maybe to learn how to do it again just practice and once you learn the ollie all the rest of the tricks are going to come easier and um yeah i mean that's pretty much it and like i said use two fingers helps a lot so yeah this is your truly danny signing off